Hi everyone, welcome to Sanvi Imagines and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to uh, make a simple chart in code.org. So when you're in your code.org, um, this is the dashboard. If you're not in your dashboard, go ahead and click on my dashboard. You should go there, scroll down where it says start a new project. Then you want to click on App Lab. Okay, now let's rename your project. I'm going to call this a chart, the chart, chart project. You can name yours to whatever you like. Now let's name the screen. We call this chart show screen. Chart, because this is what the chart is gonna show. You can change the background color of your screen right here. That can be red. It's gonna leave it as white. Okay, to make the chart, you need to drag out the chart icon right here. Drag it to wherever you want. This chart, we need to name it to, I'm going to leave this chart as chart 1. So, now this chart won't have anything in the design toolbox or on the properties here. So, what you need to do is we need to add some code. We need to draw a chart. So you go, you were at properties, you go to events, and then here we just draw a chart to insert and show code. So you leave label one, you, you just draw a chart here, this draw chart, make sure that it's the ID of the chart you dragged on. My ID is chart one, so it technically already matches. If your chart label ID is different, please take time to change that. You can use this drop down menu to make a chart that you want. There's a scatter chart, pie chart, line chart, bar chart. I'm going to keep this too simple and use a bar chart. Leave the label one for each of them and we're going to work on our rows. So row one. So we want what the row one will be called. I'm going to just call this. I'm going to call this a seasons chart just for an example. So summer and then keep the value and what and then what the value you want in a val after value, whatever value that you want, you have to put it. So in summer, how many in summer, what or whatever, just put whatever you need. Uh, you know, add the R. So whatever value that you want summer to have, put it there. So since I'm doing seasons, I searched it up. Summer is 21 home days. So again, let's go on to winter. And you can put any value you want and it will take it. Okay, now let's run our program and the chart will load like this. But we, for the whole chart to show, this chart has to be bigger. Don't get freaked out if it just comes wonky at the beginning. The reason for that is you need to make this chart bigger. Now let's run our code again. And as you can see, it comes just like this. Now, let's see what happens when we change instead of a bar chart to something else. Instead of bar, Let's try a pie chart. A pie chart, pie. Let's run our program. It'll come like this. You can do whatever charts that you want and it'll come how you want it. Now, what if you want to add more than two? Then what you do, you go show text. Then it'll come like this. I'll teach you how to do this right now. Comma, enter. Then add these parentheses and this, 
the same thing that we did for label one, but this time we have to type it out. So this space label, don't worry if those comes, they'll just be gone when we do this. Labeled in quotation marks, add your thing that you need. So I'm gonna do autumn, autumn, then skip the quotation marks, go comma, space, value, and then put the value nine, or whatever value that yours is. Now let's run our program. As you can see, there's nothing to debug. Don't get freaked out if those little warnings come because your code is not complete. And when you show blocks again, you just created a new block. Okay, let's run this. And as you can see, I think, okay, I'm gonna show you how a line chart works. Set run, that's a line graph. Okay, so have fun with your charts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I know when you put when I post new videos. Bye! For more code.org videos in App Lab, check my channel. Bye!